The family of a man shot and killed at a home in South Sacramento is calling for justice tonight. Police say they know who the shooter is. They have not yet arrested him. Thanks for staying with us here at 10 o'clock. I'm Hunter Sowards. And I'm Marley Ginter. CBS 13 Steve Large is getting answers into why no arrests have been made so far. Steve? And police are still sorting out what led up to this deadly shooting. Family is calling the killing ruthless. You know, he didn't have to die that way. I think that was ruthless. An aunt seeking answers and accountability in the deadly shooting of her nephew. She is identifying as 38-year-old James Rankins, father of two girls. These are his so-called friends. Police were called to this 27th Street home following the shooting to find Rankins laying in the front yard here with at least one gunshot wound. And the subject's in the front yard, male black 30s. It looks like he came into the son's yard and tried to 211 him. Dispatch audio describes the scene as a 211, a robbery. Only Rankin's aunt says her nephew had been invited here and was friends with the family, a father and son. He had once lived here with them. Where was his mask? Why would you go in there and show your face? He did. If he did do anything wrong, okay, we'll accept that. But it, it's just not sounding right. It's just not sounding right. There's a lot of unknowns. Attorney Justin Ward says investigators are likely interviewing witnesses and combing through surveillance cameras to determine what led up to the deadly shooting and whether it was an act of self-defense. You're allowed to use deadly force or force causing great bodily injury to defend against a violent crime. So if somebody ro tries to rob you violently, you can use deadly force to defend yourself. A deadly confrontation at a home where family says friendship took a fatal turn, leaving this father dead and this grieving aunt seeking answers. I want to know the truth. Yeah, the shooting took place at about 6 o'clock yesterday evening. The family of Rankins is planning a vigil for tomorrow night.